is up, plant people? Today I have a huge plant haul for you and I honestly got these plants about a month ago when I went to Pepper's Greenhouse! Oh my god! Yes, I went to Pepper's Greenhouse and it was the best experience of my entire life. Shout out to Nick Pelleggi because he's the reason why I went there and it was great and I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the plants that I got from there. So get ready because it's a lot. I'm gonna try to go through them pretty quick because I don't wanna be here talking for five hours. I just wanna show you guys the plants, let you guys enjoy the plants and that's pretty much all. If you don't know me, hey, my name's Jen, and I make videos about plants. I do a lot of plant hauls, plant unboxings, um, care videos, and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you are interested in those type of videos. But let's just get right into the haul. Okay, guys, so I'm doing these in no particular order. I'm really just grabbing whatever is in front of me right here on the table. And the one that is calling my name is this guy. So this is a beautiful specimen of a begonia iron cross. And the texture on this thing is absolutely amazing. It has little hairs. The colors are superb. And I'll just give you a close up because this guy deserves it. Like look at the detail and the texture and the bumps and the, oh, the everything. This begonia is awesome and it's really I thought it'd be a little bit tricky to take care of but it's actually proving to be pretty hardy so I have it by a humidifier but it's not a greenhouse or anything like that so it's doing very well and the scientific name is begonia masoniana now the next plant I got is actually one I've been wanting for a really long time and you may be surprised about what it is but here she is and this is a variegated african violet let me get you a close-up of her too look at that that's not like damage that's variegation and it's like a pinky yellowy kind of color and it's mostly on the outer leaves but we're working hard to get these new ones to start coming up variegated because that's the whole point but I really do like African violets they bloom pretty easily for me and I really just wanted a variegated one like I really did so here's my beautiful variegated African violet the next one that I'll show you is actually another plant I've been wanting for a really long time and it's doing really good in my care and I'm like pretty impressed with myself so I'll show you guys. Let me give you a close up again. It's not the best filming setup, but this is a, can you guess? <laughs> it's a watermelon begonia vine, but don't be fooled because this is not a begonia at all. It's actually a pelionia and it's called pelionia da davuana. And it's beautiful. It really, 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 really is like, the leaves are like outlined in this like black, it's like not even green, it's like a black outline. Um, it's just really cool and it's growing a lot of babies here at the bottom. So love her, had to get her, had to get her. Little watermelon begonia vine. The next plant is one that I never knew I'd get, but it was in front of me and I liked it, so I got it. And this is her, I hope that's focusing, but this is a, fire fern, but it's actually not a fern. It's Oxalis heavy saroides rubra. And it's like a little Oxalis plant, but it grows like, it's like a little like tree almost. Like they're like little, the, the stems are actually woody, which I think is pretty cool. And it's doing okay. I have it in my greenhouse, so it gets a lot of humidity. And I'm looking at the new leaves right now, and they are super healthy. So, yeah, this is really cute. Um, I do okay with Oxalis. I, yeah, I do okay with Oxalis. So, I figured I'd give this guy a go. It's a really cool ruby burgundy color, and why not? So, 
Oxalis hedysarioides rubra. So the next plant I got is this cute little succulent that is like pretty spiky, but not like hard spikes. Not like spiny spikes. It's like just spiky spikes. And it's super cute. I have it in this like uh, cement type of pot, but here she is. Pretty cool, right? The name of this girl is a tail bearing Caroluma, and the scientific name is Caroluma cadata. Oh, it's it does flower. Oh, its yellow and purple blooms emit a fragrance of rotting meat. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a really cute succulent. So I got her. I'm a sucker for cute succulents. Speaking of that, I also got this really weird and funky little Haworthia, and I've been obsessed with Haworthias lately because they're so easy and there's a lot to collect and they're really cool. So I'll give you guys a close up. So this is her, it's really funky and weird. I thought it was like dead, but I felt it and it feels like very much alive. So it, the colors on this are like a brownie, burgundy, whatever, yellow, and then it has like mini white, little spikes on it. It's really, really cute. And it doesn't say the exact type of Haworthia, but this is definitely a Haworthia. If you know the name of it, let me know down below. Sticking on the succulent train, I'll show you this little girl, which you will probably see and be like, oh, you didn't. But yeah, I did. I got this cute, cute, cute little succulent. I don't know the exact name of this guy, but you definitely will know it when you see it. This is like, um, I'm pretty sure they call it alien eggs. I don't know even what type of plant this is. Is it a Warthia? I feel like it could be, but I'm not sure, but it is just so neat. Look at that. Like you literally looks like you can see through it and it's just so cool. So I had to get her. Let's just continue on with the succulents because why not? So, um, this girl, I actually haven't really, like I said, I've had these plants for about a month. And this girl, I haven't really got to look at. And now that I'm looking at her, I'm noticing she has a little something going on. Um, it's like a disease that these type of calancho <clears throat> tend to get. So let me show you the plant and I'll show you the disease and you can let me know how to get rid of it. So it's this really, really cute calancho that has this really pretty pattern on it. Almost like a cheetah print pattern. Um, but it has, as you can see, like here, like spots going on. I feel like it's a fungus or bacteria. Um, here's a good leaf to show it. Like you see that? So I'm gonna really have to try to figure out how to get rid of that because I've had it kill other succulents before, but this is a really pretty calancho, so I really hope I can save it. Next on the succulent train is this plant, which you probably can barely see. This is, looks like it's dead, but it's actually called the dead plant. Now, it looks like dead sticks, but I mean, it's really freaking cool. It literally looks like sticks. Like, it really does. It has like really little detail on there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But it's really, really freaking cool and it's actually growing for me. I see little growth points. And this is actually a type of Euphorbia. It is called Euphorbia platyclata. And it's called the dead plant and it looks dead and it is cool. We all love a plant that looks like it should be dead, but it's actually alive. So, got her. I think that's, oh, we have another one on the succulent train. Everyone aboard. This one is awesome. Look at her. This is a variegated silver dollar plant. Oh, silver dollar plate. <laughs> Calancho. And girl, look at that pink. Look at that variegation. Come on! How beautiful is this plant? Oh my goodness gracious. Had to get her. Had to get her. This is a Calancho Thrysiflora variegated. It is so 
beautiful. I love calanchos, but these I also struggle with that type of disease that I just showed you on the other calancho. So this one doesn't have it yet, yet. <laughs> but I really don't want it to get it because look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Now the next plant that I'll show you is a beaut. And here she is. Now this is a cool plant. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what the name is. But it is like white and light mint green. And it's growing crazily wonky. This is a dead plant. I think it was a different type of plant that was just growing in there. But look how cool and fat this guy is. and. Oh my gosh. Please let me know what the name of this is if you know, but like, come on. I love like unique and cool plants slash cacti. I don't know if this would be considered a cacti, cactus, but oh, love her. I can't wait to get her into a really nice pot. Next, I got this little, little pot of Peperomia prostrata, string of turtles. And I've never had this plant and I was gonna order it online, but there it's very overpriced So I figured just get like a little pot of it in person that I know is doing good and Yeah, this is pretty healthy. Looks like there's a weed in there, but um We're just gonna wait it out with this girl. It's gonna be a very long time, but uh, When I have a full pot one day, I'll be like start it from this Okay fern 
this is. I repotted it. But, um, it's getting crispy, as you can see. But it's really cool because it's variegated. Maybe it's called a zebra fern. But as you can see, it has really cool, like, stripes and variegation on the leaves. But it just, it's getting crispy. And I don't know why. And I really want this guy to live because it is so pretty. Like, a new leaf is coming out here, but it's coming out crispy. Maybe it's not um, having enough humidity, so maybe I'll put it in my greenhouse. But it's a really, really beautiful fern nonetheless, and I really hope that I can save it because look at that. So cool. Next plant I'll show you is one that I've kind of been wanting for a while, but I've been holding off buying it, really waiting for the right moment. And I saw it at Peppers, and I was like, they look healthy, so why the heck not? So I got my, myself a Arapidophora tetrasperma because I have not ever had one, and I have really just been wanting one. So look at her and all her beauty. She's doing really good. She's put out a few leaves since I had her. I already can tell that it's a really prolific grower and pretty easy. But there is something that I want to ask you guys. So I'm noticing these like brown spots that are happening on the leaves and I'm really not sure why because there's no bugs and I'm not really under or over watering it. So I'm really not sure why that's happening. Is that normal? Please let me know if this has happened to your Rapifora tetrasperma because I'm getting nervous about it. So let me know. So the next plant that I'll show you is this beautiful, beloved, um, Tratoscantia. I think it's, um, Nanook, Kanook, or something Nook, Kanook, um, but it is so beautiful, everyone loves these, uh, it's purple and green and white, and it's just a stunner of a plant, come on, that's a stunner, and I have it in this really pretty blue pot, so I'm really, really happy about this girl. She's doing awesome. Very, very easy plant. The next plant that I'll show you is this really beautiful, really elegant, really nice, um, heteros, what is this, variegated rubber ivy. And it is so pretty. It looks like a wax. I mean, it looks like a, like a ivy plant, but it's actually not. It's actually a Senecio macro Glorisis variegatum, and I love it. It's really, really cute. Looks like that. Very nice hanging plant. So that's her, and I've been wanting her for a while. Has really pretty pink stems. So I definitely would recommend this. It's a really easy plant. Next up is this beautiful, 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 awesome agave, and it is a really cool light green color. I forget the the type of agave this is. I feel like. Oh, I'll have to look it up and I'll put it in the bottom if I can find it, but it is really cool if you see these like um, brown spots that it has on it See like really really cool leaves and It's having trouble focusing on this, but here she is and she's really pretty look at the pattern on the leaves Whoops knew that would happen Here, You see that see the pattern it's a really pretty plant and I have in this beautiful white pot, so really easy too. It's actually been growing for me. Love her. The next plant that I'll show you is pretty common, but I just saw it and I had to have it. This is a variegated Peperomia obtusifolia, and it's just beautiful. Like it really needs some water right now, but I've kind of been letting it hang over the pot because it's just that's just how it's growing. So just look at the variegation on this. Oh my gosh, if you ever seen a, see a Peperomia with this variegation, I would really recommend that you get it because they're just so beautiful. They're even more beautiful in person, honestly. Like, look at those leaves. And this is a big, like, established girl, so I had to get her. But she definitely needs some water. So, Peperomia apusifolia. Next plant I'll show you is this cute little begonia which I'm kind of struggling with but uh, maybe she's just acclimating still there's a few yellow leaves as you can see but this is such a cool begonia like it's like a little tree almost 
I have it in a really cute like three inch pot and the stem at the bottom is like getting woody if you can see that and I really think that's cool and this is a very like petite little begonia she actually is flowering for me and I don't know it's just really cute and I've been really 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 into begonias so I had to get it next up is another begonia which is beautiful and I've never had a begonia with this type leaf type of this type leaf shape before where it's like an oak leaf almost um but I am really happy to have it because it is a monster it's a monster it's beautiful it's 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 awesome I love the shape of the leaves and they have a really nice texture to them they have like a little fuzz um they're kind of like a dark green the veins are like um red and it has white dots all over and it's a pretty big plant this girl in a three inch four inch pot it's a pretty big plant i mean come out and i really love it like it's very hardy it's growing very well for me very well okay guys so the very last plant that i got is this beauty and this is a variegated tapioca plant and I asked the people at Peppers and they said that it can be kept indoors like over the winter but it really needs the heat and the light so I'm gonna really try to keep this alive if you have any tips please let me know because this is a beautiful plant like it has red stems and the leaves are like really beautiful yellow and green variegated it looks like an umbrella plant like a chiflera almost but it is a variegated tapioca plant, which I've never had, obviously. So, I also got a Sissus discolor, but it's entwined in all my other plants. You know how they are, so I'm not gonna pull her out, but um, that's it. That's everything I got, and it's actually a lot, you guys. Like, I spent a good chunk of change there, but I knew that I wouldn't go back anytime soon, so I really splurged, and I have a video that I will put out soon of me actually shopping around and showing what they have but this is just a haul of what I got there so I really hope that you guys liked this video hopefully you added another plant to your wish list if you've ever gone to peppers before let me know down below if any of these plants are on your wish list let me know down below and if you enjoyed this video just let me know down below or you can just subscribe and yeah <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to be showing you guys my plants. And that's it. Have a great day. Have a great week.